Teresa Temps, president of TDR Mortgage in Oakland, California, and I serve the entire Southern California market. I'm here with Tan Kareem. Tan? Hi. Thanks for having me. Sure, sure. I wanted to have you on today to talk about some loans that uh, we like to call alternative type loans, or in the industry, they're actually called non QM loans. Why is that, Tan? Well, non-QM stands for non-qualified mortgage. Uh, these mortgages don't fit in the box that the government has created with Dodd-Frank. Uh, so we're able to skirt some of the rules that were created back in 2009 to stop another mortgage meltdown from happening. These loans are still really good, but they're made for borrowers that don't fit in that small little box created by the government. So the non-QM loans are loans that are not able to be insured and sold off according to Fannie Freddie guidelines. Correct. correct? They're outside of Fannie Freddie and FHA guidelines. All right, let's get into it. My favorite loan right now is something that Change refers to as their community mortgage program. I refer to it as no income. I refer to it as I'm going to save this transaction if you've got 25% down. So this loan, let's talk about what does it take to do a no income loan and why is this not a stated loan? Because I was kind of calling it a stated loan and you corrected me and said, no T, it's not a stated loan. Well, the word stated has a lot of negative um, connotations to it. Um, the word stated means that your income was stated by you and it could be any number. It could be 10,000, 12,000, 15,000. You can state whatever you wanted to, to a loan officer and they would have to put it down on the application. Okay. We all know what happened with those loans. Yeah. Well, they served a purpose though. I felt like a stated loan served a purpose for people that had were self-employed. They were self-employed and they didn't show their money on their taxes. And that's where we're at today where there's so many people, Tan, that just don't qualify. Absolutely. So tell me, on this particular loan, we discussed that the requirement is basically 25% down on rock, 30% down for an investor loan. Mm -hmm. You don't put anything down on the loan application, right? Correct. So you don't, you leave the employment section blank. You How do you know if they're self-employed or like, do you guys care? Well, they're coming in with 25% down. So they have skin in the game. Okay. They need to have reserves. So that with your 740 FICO borrower, if he's got six months reserves, that's all he's going to need to go qualify for the community mortgage. Okay. So I have one right now. My guy is buying like a million dollar house and he's putting 25% down and he's got an 800 score. Can he just have two months reserves? Nope. Six no. months minimum. Six months, no matter what. Now, what about if my guy has a 550 score? Our minimum score for the community mortgage is actually 640. For a credit score that low. Wow, 640. That's pretty badass. Yeah. But the reserve requirement does go up. It does go up to 24 months. Um, you know, with okay. lower credit score, we require okay. more reserves. There's no income required, so we have to compensate with another factor. Okay, so in the community thing, you said 640. Now, a lot of times at TDR, if you've got a 640 FICO, I'm going to easily have your score up in under 30 days. So there's the, usually, usually when we have people with that score, but that's really good to know because sometimes in this market, people enter into a contract and then they find out they don't qualify. Absolutely. Yeah. So it happens all the time. So you get a 640, we can slam that if you've got a lot of money. So this loan is for somebody that's got money. Uh, another thing is how fast can we close this thing? These loans are averaging between 20 and 25 days. You're not dealing with any income qualifying, so there's no VOE to order. The underwriting is very easy. So it's a fast close. What about the money? How, okay, so my guy right now, so people that are self-employed, Typically you see some white people have all kinds of stuff going on. Maybe they have corpse, maybe they have multiple bank statements. So would you, how, how are you going to document the money? Does brokerage, do brokerage accounts count or like, how do you guys like to see the money? They do. So unlike other banks and other lenders, we require only one month seasoning of funds. So we're not going to require two months. Um, That's like, like a mic drop moment. Yeah. One month of bank statements, one month of bank statements. Yeah. And not we'll, three months, not one month, no, just one. And we Jeez. only need the first page of your bank statement. So we don't need to see the second and third pages that could cause additional issues that many people have to go through sourcing income, sourcing deposits, whatnot. So the first page is another big thing with us. A lot of high earners have a lot of deposits and those are 
So fun to document and source. Where'd you get that 30,000? Where'd you get that 40,000? Where's that 3,000? You know, they're even yes. the smaller amounts they Absolutely. question. And they're, and borrowers are not happy doing that. But, you know, no, because it sucks. Do you get it's, it's, anno it's annoying for me, and I'm the loan officer. I can imagine, you know, the client, but that's what you do these days. You, yeah. you know, you get down, you give, you give, you give, and then they say, we want our, you know, a, a left. Wait, is that my. You want a left pinky and you cut it off to get the loan, Tan. That's what happens over here in the traditional loan side of things. Okay, so the Community Mortgage Program. This program is unlike any other program out there. I have been seeking out this program since 2008. I am not even kidding. This type of a program has not been available to owner occupants, only non-owner occupants because of usury laws and things like that. So how are you guys getting, nobody, nobody offers this program, only you. How does that feel? Good question. So change is considered uh, what, what, what designated a community development fund by the U.S. Treasury. So otherwise known as a CDFI. That exempts us from Dodd-Frank's ATR rule, which requires income documentation on all owner-occupied loans. So we are one of the only lenders in the nation allowed to do it <gasps> on an owner-occupied property <laughs> with no pay stubs, no tax returns. I love it. So my celebrity client, you know who you are, whose name starts with an O and ends with a Skywalker. You know who you are. <laughs> He promised me, so we've got this one going right now, and yeah. he promised me like five or six or seven of his friends that are looking for this type of loan because they make money, but they just don't show it in the traditional scheme of things. So this, this is a perfect fit for buyers out there in the marketplace looking for something you can close quickly. They're not gonna ask for an arm and a leg. They're not gonna jerk you around for 60, 90 days. And that, that happens. You know, There's a yeah. lot of lenders out there that um, probably in 19, I would seek out relationships with these non-QM lenders and you go down this rabbit hole of they look at your file and say they can do it and they come back and condition you for 60, 90 days. Yeah. So I just stopped doing them because they were so unreliable. I don't want to look shitty with my, with my you know, um, business community and my clients. I want to serve my clients. And then I started back again in 20, like 2019, mid 2019, they kind of came back. But this this product is really exciting. I'm happy to be uh, working with you on it. Thank you. Did I leave anything out about this program? Because I feel like it's so freaking easy. How are you guys? I just. And we the, another thing a lot of people don't realize our maximum loan amount on this program is up to three million dollars. I know. So so uh, my celebrity kind of said he had all kinds of people that wanted to buy like four million dollar houses and stuff. So that's my plan. Yeah. That's my plan. Gotta go for it. Go okay. For it. Well, <clears throat> so that concludes the no income product. Uh, thanks for joining me today, Thank Tan. You. I appreciate your help. Thank you.